Yes. A mother is sharing her grief one day after her son and his girlfriend, recent high school graduates, were killed in a multi-car crash in Hoffman Estates. She tells our Sarah Maki she keeps hoping she'll wake up from the nightmare. It's unfortunate we spend so many years raising, you know, our children. Our children should not, we should not bury our children. Our children should bury us. On an unusually cold summer evening, loved ones wrap their arms around Crystal Tudela as she walks towards our Savior's United Methodist Church for a prayer vigil. Her son, Deshaun Tudela, and his girlfriend, Amelia Mazikas, high school sweethearts and recent Schomburg High School graduates killed in this crash in Hoffman Estates Saturday morning while Amelia drove Deshaun to work. Thankfully, they had each other. And that brings a little bit of peace knowing that he wasn't alone when he passed and that they had each other. But at the same time, I know I, I can't wake up tomorrow and expect him to call me. Two other people were injured in the crash. They are expected to survive. Police have said they suspect alcohol may have been a factor in this crash. Crystal now saying she hopes something like this doesn't happen to any other families. But I keep telling myself maybe this is a, a nightmare. Maybe I'll wake up and he'll still be here. There are other support services in the works. The school district saying that they will have staff available to talk with people at Schaumburg High School beginning on Monday. In Schaumburg, Sarah Maki, CBS 2 News. And just minutes ago, we learned one of the drivers involved, a 32-year-old man from Elgin, is now facing five felony charges, including aggravated DUI and reckless homicide.